What's up YouTube? It's Rob DJ Ville coming to you with another review. This one is called Smelling Like a Rose and this is a note that can part the Red Sea. Not every cat likes the note of rose. Uh, it's not my favorite but it's a, ro it's a note that I do enjoy if it's done right. So I've got five frags I'm going to go through for my collection that I think do rose well. And uh, hey, check them out for yourself. See, you know, what you think and Please post, comment, share the video. All right. So first up, it's one from Cartier. It's called Declaration Dune Soir. All right. This is the frag right here. Okay. Hopefully you can check that out. This one I believe dropped in 2012. This is a very classy, clean, upscale rose fragrance. What you pretty much get is rose and pepper that's pretty much it there are other notes listed but that's what you get from this fragrance it's very very upscale smelling to me um this to me this could work in a professional environment as long as you don't overspray. it's very very clean and crisp smelling uh works well performs well you know cartier they do fragrances right in my opinion um definitely if you you know are looking for something up that alley I highly encourage you to check it out. Okay, so again, this is Declaration Dune Soir by Cartier. All right, another great fragrance um, that I got up on from a fellow YouTube reviewer by the name of Greggy Boy, I believe, cat from the UK. Big up. Um, I actually reviewed this one over the winter for a collab uh, with a, a gentleman's journey. Uh, big up to, I believe his name is Chad for putting me on on that, but. This fragrance is called Ou Kadim, all right, by Janoui Jamshed. This one doesn't even really list rose as a note, but I smell rose all day. I mean, I think what's listed is like saffron, oud, and something else, but I really get rose myself. Um, this one is more floral, so I, I warn you, uh, this is a rose fragrance, rose and oud that's kind of got more of a floral vibe to it, but it's a very nice smelling fragrance. Uh, the rose, in my opinion, is a note. <laughs> Even though it's not listed, it shines. Um, the oud shines, but it's not that medicinal oud. It's more of a true woody oud. It's not that barnyard, you know, oud. And I recommend it. It performs well. It's, it's a parfum. And I was able to, able to actually get it for about, I want to say 45 to 55 bucks. Uh, but it's got nice, very nice display. It's like a ceramic bottle. It's got like a wood top. All right. And it's got a nice spray. I don't really like to waste juice, but I don't know if you can really catch that. But um, really nice frag. Check it out if, if that's something that might be up your alley or do the research for yourself to see if all the notes listed, you know, make up something that you think would be right up your alley. You know, I, I really believe that as good as it is to have people review fragrances and give recommendations, you have to trust this. <laughs> you know, what I like, you may not, vice versa. So, again, U Kadim, Johnny Weed, Jemshed. You can actually hit this guy up on Facebook and buy it directly from him. I'll leave the link down below uh, under details. And again, check it out if you if you choose to. Uh, third is a frag that I got put up on by Babs, who pretty much, in my opinion, put the frag community up on our moth. All right. And this is a, uh, a nice fragrance from that house. It's called Shades Wood. Okay. This is the sweetest of the frags I'm going to run through. It's more like a candy rose and wood. Uh, you got the cedar, you got the oud. I like this a lot. Um, I can tell you honestly when I first got it and I sprayed it, it smelled like off insect repellent. I don't know what, what the deal was. I bought it in the middle of summer and it came through the mail. I bought it from overseas. I think I bought it from um, Take It Today, which is a company based out of India. So we had a long commute to get to me in the Midwest, and it was very warm outside. I don't know if the warm weather had anything to do with what I was smelling, but 
after spraying it a couple of times, that smell went away and it was just a beautiful fragrance, wood, rose, and the rose is like a candy, sweet rose, not sickly at all, but it's a, it's a sweet rose and I think it's a very enjoyable uh, rose for a lot of people. So uh, if you are inclined, try to get a sample or, you know, check it out for yourself, see what you think. Shades Wood by Armoth. All right. Next up, one I just picked up um, from the House of D Squared Potion Royal Black. All right. This is a pretty nice fragrance. This is, from what I've read and what I've smelt, niche quality. I think all of these are really there, you know. Um, but this one gets a lot of love and written reviews for being niche quality. I'll let you decide that, all right? But this one is like rose leather incense. Very nice frag. I recommend it. If you think that combination would be right up your alley, definitely check it out. It's classy. I um, think you can wear it in, in multiple settings. It lasts. It's a parfum. And you can get it for about 35 to 55 bucks, okay, which is not a bad price for something of this quality. I actually uh, outbid somebody at the last moment and got it for either $34.99 or $36.99. So, and I enjoy it. So, again, from the house of D Squared, Potion Royal Black, all right? Lastly, this one is right here. If you can see that. All right. Equitus by Alan DeLone. That is one of my favorite frags of all time. Again, I rocked that fragrance all through college. You know, um, I think I first picked it up 1991. I had three, 3.4 bottles. I think I ran out of my last bottle in 03. All right great great fragrance it's oak moss and rose those are the two primary notes so if you don't like oak moss it wouldn't be a fragrance for you but it's so much more than that it's oak moss it's uh, rose it's leather it's cardamom it's pine i mean there's so many notes this is back in the day where they would use multiple notes to get you know one note you know it's it's a vintage fragrance it would be niche today all right, and they're not going to copy this fragrance. You're not going to have a house copy this fragrance because I think it's too hard to copy. It has got all these notes, but it's still a soft fragrance. Not soft in the sense that it doesn't project. You know, I think you will get whiffs of it all day, and anybody that's around you would catch whiffs of it all day, but or wafts of it all day. But you know, it's just different. It's a mature, I think, a romantic you know type of fragrance you have to have a certain type of confidence to rock it uh, but it's one that I can't recommend enough I almost picked up a bottle about a week back you know thought I had my little <laughs> strategy in place I ran across one bottle that was the cheapest I've ever seen and then there was another bottle that somebody was selling that I think it was like 30 or 40 percent you know left in the bottle so I figured okay I'll get that one first and then I'll come back and get the other one and the other one sold out then I tried to get the one that had 40% left and I got outbid at the last second so it's it's I've got two bottles two frags that are on my have to get back list it's that one and another one by Donna Karen Donna Karen I let it fuel um you know but again one of my favorite fragrances of all time um do your research check it out online read the reviews on it Nothing but positives, nothing but like, you know, high, high marks for it. Great fragrance, beautiful rose fragrance. If you ever get the opportunity to get a sample or pick up a bottle, if you're into this, you know, deep and you love that note, I really think you would enjoy it. Uh, if you love niche quality fragrances, I really think you would enjoy it. So again, lastly, Equitus by Alan DeLone. All right, guys, so again, you know, like, comment, subscribe, what have you, you know, one love, peace.